Welcome to something a little bit different today. Today we are going to watch somebody complete the Western Roman Empire campaign in Barbarian Invasion in just 39 seconds. Let's give this a good watch. But before we begin, uh, the actual creator of this video is called Snab Chris. His channel is linked down below. I did ask him first for permission before I recorded this. Basically, he is a speedrunning channel and he creates some interesting videos from time to time, such as speedruns like this. And I felt, eh, they deserve a little bit more credit. So, yeah, I asked him first, he gave me permission. Let's begin. Let's see how he does it. So, yeah, check him out if you want to see more speedruns. Western Roman Empire, very hard difficulty, as we saw on the left. Let's see him do it. This is impressive. Right, 39 seconds, disbanding all his troops. Sends his diplomat down, he ends turn. Straight to Byzantium, he didn't do anything else. Not Byzantium, the Eastern Roman Empire. He gives them all his money. I'm getting some Legend of Total War feeling here from his uh, Troy exploits. It takes all the settlements he needs for the victory objectives, and... <laughs> there he goes, 39 seconds. Wow. <laughs> he got victory. Western Roman Empire, very hard difficulty. There you go, that's how you do it. 39 seconds, two turns. Impressive. So yeah, link to the original video will be down below. Give that a watch as well. He deserves the credit, of course. Um, but yeah, wow. That was impressive. That was impressive to see. I do like that. Just, wow. He disbands all his armies, so he can give away even more money, I think. Yeah, I don't think he would be able to give away enough money if he didn't disband enough troops. Doesn't matter if a riot, it's only one turn. He still holds onto all his territory. Gives away all his money, Constantinople, Thessalonica, uh, Syrium, Antioch, Sidon, Jerusalem, uh, and a lot more. <laughs> and there he goes, he gets it, wow. That's impressive. And it just shows how you know, brilliant the game is Barbarian Invasion. It just shows how broken it is as well, the fact that you can actually do this. Reminds me of Legend of Total War's Troy video, where he does something very similar but for infinite resources. But, wow. This is probably the biggest exploit, I think. Or one of the biggest exploits in Total War. Alright, let, let's take a look at another. But you know what? I have to try this out for myself. Let's go. Can I do it? Can, can I actually get the speed run here? Can I do it? I'm gonna set a timer on my phone now. Um, it hasn't technically started yet. Um, as soon as I click on start or tick this box away, that's when we begin. Just trying to get the, site, uh, the timer set up. Okay, three, two, one, go. Timer didn't work. Timer didn't work. I haven't technically started yet. Hold on. I I'm not used to phone technology. Hold on, let me get this. I'm on the wrong thing, that's why. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Oh, it didn't work. Come on. Ah. I'm clicking up wrong thing. Stupid phone technology. Three, two, one, go. Oh, I'm such an old man. <laughs> Okay, he disbanded a load of troops. Ah, go away. Uh, he did it here as well. He did it to these. Come on, Melkor, you can do this. Speed run, Melkor. Am I actually going to get a world record? Come on, come on. I know I can, I know I can. Right, um... Ah, go away! Okay, um... Uh, make regular tribute. Yep, that's, that's good, that's good. Um, okay, now... Give region it... Yeah, get all these in. Come on, come on, come on. What? Okay, it didn't work for me. 
Ah, oh, I don't know why it didn't work. Why didn't it work? Nah, I wasn't gonna get it anyway, but still, it was fun. Ah, oh, oh well. Okay, I don't know what what I did wrong there. I'm sure I did it same. Maybe it might be a luck-based thing. It only works like, I don't know, a certain percentage of a time. I don't know, but it was fun. Eh, why didn't it work? I've got no idea. I don't know. I think I did it all right. Ah well, moving on to the next one. Okay, so now he is going to play the Alexander campaign. Easy, uh, difficult to both battle and uh, campaign. Alright, so it's all on easy. Uh, the reason they do this is because they like to auto-resolve uh, the speedrunners. So yeah, I'll be wanting to do a lot of auto-resolving. Uh, interesting moves there. That's not what I expected. Uh, he's going for Europe first. Yeah, can you start to resolve that one? I've not done much of a full 20 minute video, but I just want to see the start and the end. Alright, so he pushes to Halicarnassus with Alexander. Getting more troops in Byzantium. I remember doing the Alexander campaign. I thought I did it pretty fast. Um, I did it in, I think, six hours on the stream. I thought I did uh, quite well, quite fast. Was it six hours? It might have been a bit longer. Can't remember. But yeah, this is impressive. 23 minutes. That being said, it is on the easiest difficulty and all auto resolves, so. But despite all of that, despite the auto resolves and the difficulty, it still is impressive. Wow. Alright. I get an idea for what his uh, campaign is now. Let's skip forwards a little bit. And it's to the same speed. You've got to give him credit for continuing at the same speed of thought process throughout the entire video. Just able to think this fast. I wonder how many attempts it actually took. Like, this is 23 minutes. But how long did it actually take him? Like, all the different trials. Must have been a lot. There we go. One more settlement there. I think he needs one more settlement to do it. Yeah, just pull out of there. Uh, that settlement there has been left open. I don't really need to fix that. Yeah, yeah. okay, whatever. Maybe it does. Can we just walk him then? I think that's it. Yeah. There we go. He could have knocked another minute there off the end, but I won't complain. Still very impressive. <laughs> wow. Impressive, impressive. I, I liked that one. Okay, now I've not seen this one before. Um, he's trying to complete the Franks in just about 15 minutes. Uh, the Franks in Barbarian Invasion. How's he done to approach this? So he, he immediately spams a load of spearmen on easy difficulty again, remember. Uh, just to get those auto resolves in there. Yeah, this must have taken a lot of trial and error. With interesting moves, he's already moving through. High tax rate. Back into the settlement. What was the point in that? I don't know. Right, now he's attacking. This feels like it was his first run. Like, surely he knew. Surely he knew he couldn't take that, unless he was doing something else, like some weird exploit that I don't know about or something. I don't know. Very quick diplomacy. Vase and not auto resolve. He got a draw. Yeah, that's why it's uneasy. Super easy auto resolves. Another draw. Reinforcements will come in, and that should be enough to get in the win. Yeah, it, it's the auto resolves. The auto resolves that do it because they're super easy. Alright, so just seven minutes in. He's got most of northern France taken. Uh, let's skip forwards a little bit more. Yeah, he's in Iberia already, and he's only been playing for 12 minutes. Northern Italy, he's pushing on Rome 12 minutes in. There we go, he got the win. So that was about, yeah, about 15 minutes. Whew. That was a lot of conquest in a short period of time. I'm currently playing a barbarian invasion campaign of my own as the Western Roman Empire. And, yeah, I'm nowhere near that speed. I've been playing... I've been playing it for like 20 hours, and I've taken like about three territories roundabout in Germany, and that's about it. 
All right, two more to quickly show you now, both for Medieval 2. He's got many more like this on his channel, as I said, check him out. I'm not going to become a reaction channel, don't worry. This is just a one-off, because I believe the guy, you know, he's got a small channel, but he's, I believe he deserves a bit more, like, exposure. And also, it's a nice little video for me as well. Um, it's all part of keeping Rome Total War and Medieval 2 alive in 2020. That's what it's all about. So let's see this guy beat the Byzantium campaign in 3 minutes and 30 seconds. Already off to a quick start. Surely not. Is it short victory or long victory? I can't remember. Let me double check. Uh, so... Yeah, okay, it's short victory. I was going to say, long victory objective, definitely not, but short. Still short victory objective, like 15 settlements, it's not an easy one. It's not an easy one, so there's still a lot of challenge there. Right, this is about, a, a, yeah, the normal opener so far, nothing too spectacular yet. Okay, so he's, I think, yeah, he's put Sophia under siege, he's going to go to war with Venice now. Ooh, don't attack the fleet. Okay, there we go. Get your troops out of the boat. To, yeah, put the goose under siege. Uh, how far are we now? Uh, about 5 turns, 1 minute 30 seconds. What? He's got to destroy Venice, doesn't he? So he's taken that settlement. That's the second objective. Uh, storming up north now. Uh, Sophia's been taken. Let's skip it forwards a little bit. He's already outside Venice. Getting mercenaries. Oh, that poor diplomat there slowing him down. <laughs> Clearly aggravating him. He's going to take Venice there with the auto resolve. He got the win. And is that Venice destroyed? I think it is. Yeah, that's Venice destroyed. He's going to take one more settlement. Okay, I, yeah, I think I could probably do this. In. In like 10 turns, I think I could get here, uh, if I take on the same strategy. Of course, on easy difficulty. Uh, but to be able to do all the clicks perfect and get it, you know, get it in your memory right in just like 3 minutes, uh, 30 seconds. That's the hard bit. There we go. He got it. He did it. But you know what, I think that's enough for today's video. I don't think we need to see any more to know that he's good at speedruns. We've even got some uh, Civilization 4, some Civ 5 in there as well. Uh, some tips, stuff like that. But it mostly seems to be a speedrunning channel. So yeah, I know I don't do that many Let's Plays on my channel. It's more about uh, being a bit, bit around for Let's Plays, scripted videos, top fives, um, AI only focus. But this guy definitely does Let's Plays, and he does it in a unique way as well. So, channels like this, and channels like your Total War Master who does multiplayer hot seats, uh, let's get him up. Yeah, here we are. So, multiplayer hot seats and stuff, uh, multiplayer campaigns for Medieval 2. These channels, they deserve more love uh, for, you know, continuing the normal Let's Play style, and... So yeah, so today's video is more about just shouting out these smaller channels that are still trying to upload uh, good, interesting content and have a lot of skill in the game as well. After Legend of Total War left, there was certainly a big move away from the old titles. So it's, it's good to see these two names here trying to keep that theme of exploiting the game and doing well in these old games still alive. So yeah, there you go. Anyway, that is all from me. I did, of course, have permission uh, from Snap Chris here. Um, I wouldn't have done it if I didn't get permission. And I'm not going to make a regular thing of this. Do not worry. I'm not going to be one of those uh, reaction channels every week. This is just a one-off, and that is all. So I do hope you have enjoyed. I hope to see you in tomorrow's video, whatever it may be. I don't even know right now. And I do hope to see you in tomorrow's video, whatever that may be. But for now, subscribe for more, subscribe to these two guys, and goodbye.